let's discuss how web servers are defaced. So they're going to be utilizing a number of different types of techniques and attack vectors. It could be a simple method whereby the credentials would be captured through a man-in-the-middle attack. Or you were able to do a password brute force attack where you were able to gain access to that administrator account. You could look at using attacks that will utilize the domain name system, whether it be through cache poisoning or social engineering, FTP server misconfigurations, or simply launching different types of buffer overflows or exploits against FTP. And then you've also got your mail server components, your web application bugs, and some of those web servers will be set up for shared access. Perhaps you want to actually publish your new HTML or other types of dynamic code out there. A lot of times, configuration with regards to the permissions could have been done incorrectly or given somebody too much privilege and that could then be utilized to deface those web servers. Then you've also got SQL injection, SSH uh, attack techniques, telnet intrusion, URL poisoning, and then of course some of the other not so well known whereby we're going to look at indirect attacks by injecting or manipulating the code inputs. So we're going to cover these in a lot more detail. Let's sit back and relax and enjoy the show.